a friction car, but the trouble with toy cars and real cars and bicycles and shoes is that things wear out. The tyres, the rubber tyres, the leather on the shoes, the rubber heels on the shoes, all slowly but surely wear out because things are scraping on the ground. Friction. I wonder if we could get rid of friction. I wonder if we could. If we do, maybe we'll stop tyres wearing out and shoes wearing out. Tell you what, let's think of this little car again and we'll have it running across a smooth kitchen board. Let's see how well it goes. Very well. If I could put something between the tyres and the kitchen cutting board, something that makes it slip, then maybe I'll get rid of the friction. Well, I just happen to have something right here. Olive oil. Look at that. If that gets rid of the scraping, gets rid of the friction, tyres will never wear out. Let's try it now. There it is, sitting on the board. Oh. But it's not going to help the car very much at all, is it? It's going to skid and go sideways and do all sorts of funny things. That, of course, is why it's dangerous driving on muddy roads, on icy roads and on snow, because you get a cutting down of the friction and that can be a bad thing. You see, friction may be bad when it causes things to wear out, but it also can be good because it helps things to grip. Here's a little car that's been designed to have a lot of friction between wheels and road. Can you see that? Thick wheels, soft rubber, and deep tread. And have a look at this. All four wheels going together. So it goes along quite well. In fact, I think I can make it go up a slope. Have a look at this. There it is. The friction is so good that it can even go up a steep slope. What if I make the slope even steeper? I wonder if we can overcome the traction on that little car and make it slip. Let's see. Four wheels are going. Aha. Uh -huh. Won't quite climb. Can you think of another way that we could change things so that it may climb? We've got thick wheels, we've got soft rubber. Yes, we could change the road, couldn't we? I've done that on the other side. First of all, let's check out and see that it doesn't climb the normal board. And it certainly doesn't. Now we'll put it on the strip of sandpaper. And you can see that it, it climbs all the way up until it runs out of sandpaper. So you can increase friction by changing the tyres and by changing the road surface. Friction can be a good thing because it gives us traction between a vehicle and the roadway. But within the vehicle itself, the car, the truck, the bicycle, or even the roller skate, you don't want to have a lot of friction between moving parts. You want to keep that to a very minimum. What do they use to help that? Well, they use oil, they use grease, they also use some little tiny balls of steel. I wonder if you've seen these before. They are ball bearings. Ball bearings are spheres made of very hard steel in many different sizes. And they're very often packed in grease or oil. What they do is to prevent friction or lower friction between moving parts in machinery. If you've taken your roller skates apart, perhaps you've seen some of the ball bearings inside. That's called a ball bearing race, that little part there. And the shaft goes through there, the wheel spins freely. We can show the same sort of thing here by putting a coffee jar on top of the can. Have a look at this. Then that'll spin freely because it's a ball bearing race. And here's a larger one, a big electric motor. Seven ball bearings between the inner and the outer circle, and the parts move very smoothly. Well, those are ball bearings, and they're inside not only your roller skates and your bicycle, but inside all of these pieces of machinery and all of these vehicles of transport.